This is a component tester made with Arduino. It's not the same as my multimeter. I mean, it still measures values, but in this case it measures component values. Transistors, diodes, resistors and capacitors, inductors and more. It could measure components with three pins and tell you different information about each component. If it is a MOSFET or a BJT transistor, if it's a resistance, the polarity of a diode, the capacitance of a component and so on. Later we'll see some tests with different components. And the original Ardu tester was made by Carl Heinz, and since then it had a lot of versions. I will place a link for the original project and this project below in the description. But let me show you the PCB that I've made for this project, what we need to assemble it, how it works more or less, and test it on different type of components. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. To make this project using the original schematic and other versions that I found online, I made this PCB. It's based on the Atmega 328 microcontroller, the same as the Arduino Uno. It has these parts. A display to show the values, three pins to connect the component, a power input pin, and some extra connectors for PWM signals, frequency meter and so on. So get the Gerber's files for my PCB design from below for free. And then you can go to PCBWay and order the PCBs by clicking the order now button. I add the settings for the size, the amount of PCBs and the color. In my case I select the green one and save to cart. On the next page upload the Gerber's files that you have downloaded from the link below. Place the order and get the PCBs in just a few days. They look very good so PCBWay once again did a great job. It's time to assemble the board. The list of the components is a bit long, but nothing special. Resistors, capacitors, connectors and so on. But the main parts are the Atmega chip, the TFT display, the rotary encoder and the connectors. We also have some voltage regulators and transistors. Check the full part list on the project page on electronics.com. So let's start assembling it. Download from below the full schematic and use the same values. First I add all the capacitors using the values from the schematic. And then I do the same for the resistors. I've used through whole components, so it will be for you easier to solder. Before we add the sensible components I add a voltage regulator, the BJT transistors and the TL431 diode. I also add the input jack and the other connectors. I wanted to test the VCC voltage with 9 volts from the supply, but without the microcontroller, but the power PJT transistor is off so we can measure the VCC value and see if it is 5 volts so it won't burn the microcontroller. But anyway I soldered the final socket for the microcontroller and a row of female pins for the display. And for the component input I will add this DIP socket. On the PCB as you can see we have 3 inputs, pin 1, 2 and 3. And we also have those same inputs for the SMD components with these pads and again 1, 2 and 3. Finally we add the microcontroller to the socket. And for the display I've used this one with the ST7735 chip that only cost you a few dollars on AliExpress and is very easy to use with SPA connection. And once again a huge thank you to the involved people for the original Ardu tester code and you can also check the updated code on this page. Download the zip file and open the original code. I will use the AVR do this to upload the hex file and the EEPROM files and also to write the fuses. So on the back of the PCB we have these ISP pins for programming. So get another Arduino Uno and connect it to your PC. Open Arduino IDE and go to examples, Arduino SISP and open this example. Compile and upload it to the Arduino Uno and now it should work as an ISP programmer. Now connect the Arduino Uno to the tester PCB like this on the ISP pads on the back. I've used some thin wires to do that. Connect back the Arduino to your PC and now we open the RVR do this, which is a free software. As a programmer I select the Arduino and this baud rate. For the MCU select the Atmega 328P and click detect and it should detect the Atmega chip. So download the hex files from below or from this GitHub repository where you have the original version and two other versions. 
So for flash, we select this hex file. For the EEPROM, select this EEP file. And for the fuses, you have to open the fuse file and copy these values. Then we click program and the code will be uploaded. So now that the PCB has the code, I connect 9V at the input jack from my supply, but you could also use a 9V battery if you want. If you now press the encoder button, it will start up, but since I don't have any component connected, we get this message. Now long press the button and we enter the menu, and here we have a frequency meter, a signal generator, voltage meter and a few more options. And you can change the text color if you want. In my case, I like it to be red. Now let's start with a simple BJT transistor. This is the BC557. Connect it to the 3 pins and press the button. And look at that, we get that is a BJT transistor, the current values and what is each pin, the collector, base and emitter. Now I do the same with a MOSFET and we also get so much information. It knows that is an N-channel MOSFET and also gives us the on-resistance and a lot more info, so pretty cool. And the same with the capacitor for example. I've tried a few values and it measures capacitance pretty accurate. Now let's test it with a coil. And look at that, it knows that is a coil of 0.05 mH and it also gives us its resistance. And it works with other values as well. I now test the SMD pads with this IGBT. I press it down with my finger so it touches the pads and now I test it out and look at that. It knows it's an IGBT and give us these values. Now this here is a simple diode and very easily detected and also gives us the drop voltage. Now in the menu we also have an IR decoder or encoder and that's pretty nice. I connect this infrared receiver on the 3 pins. We enter the IR decoder mode and using this infrared remote, as you can see, each time I press a new button it decodes the data and show it on the display, so you could copy the data and retransmit it. We also have a 10-bit PWM generator mode and you can change the duty cycle from 0 to 100%. And we also have a simple frequency generator and this is the signal data that it creates, a simple square wave. As for the frequency meter, we connect the signal on this connector. And it will show you the frequency and the period. And you have more options in the menu. As an extra, we could design and 3D print an enclosure for this PCB to make it last longer and look a lot better. So feel free to improve this project as you want. So guys, that's how easy it is to make this RLC and transistor tester. You can get my Gerbil files for free and the code together with the part list and schematic from my website. Electrons.com and also check the original links. And using PCBWay, create your own RLC tester and use it for your projects. I hope you have learned something new, and if so, consider giving me a like or comment below. Thanks again, and see you later, guys. So, guys, here I am in my workshop, another video that ended. I hope that you like it, and the most important part, I hope that you have learned something new. Anyway, I just wanted to give a thank you to all my patrons. To you guys, to the viewers who are supporting me, liking my content, uh, sharing it, commenting below, uh, just check my website, check my shop, check my t-shirts, all this kind of stuff will support my channel, so thank you very much once again.